day 30, I'm in Vietnam, we have a problem. Uh, Reggie is like half missing. He's not, I'm, I'm not gonna file a missing persons report right now, but we can't seem to get hold of him and his, his hotel are contacting me saying, have you seen your friend? Didn't see him come in last night, can't seem to get hold of him and he's supposed to check out in about 30 minutes. He's either starfished out like this on the bed, completely hung over, dying, or he didn't make it home last night because the problem is I left him not in the ditch or anything. I left him at like half 11 last night and he was still out with Jack and Jack's boys. So I've left them. I've woke up this morning. He's texted me saying at 12.40 last night saying, remind me to give you 11,000 dong, which is about 30p. So I don't know why he's, what he's on about. Uh, and then he also says, I've gone, gone home because I drank a glass full of ash or something, something along them lines. So I'm like, shit, let me ring him. Rang him, no answer. So. I'm gonna go and bang on his hotel door, which I'm assuming the woman's already done. I hope he's in there because otherwise this is gonna turn from a vlog to using these clips in a Netflix documentary. Hopefully we can go find him and then we can get back to having a laugh rather than me having to worry about it. And let's get straight into this bitch. Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. I feel responsible for him, innit? I mean, he's an adult and he's out here on his own, right? Obviously, I'm worried about him. I'm worried if somebody's missing, obviously. But I mean, as in like, I'm out here on my own, but because he's a little bit younger than me, do you know what I mean? I feel like, oh, I feel a bit responsible for him as if I'm his dad. I'm not his dad, okay? I'm a, let's not get into this. I'm not fucking worthy of that. Reg, bro, please, please don't be fucking dead. It'll we'll make for one hell of a content series, won't it? Searching for Reg. No, stop making jokes. This isn't funny. Let's find Reg and then we can make jokes. I'm gonna fly over to his house now before I check out of my place. Or I've got to move rooms is what I've got to do. Oh, I'm, I'm adamant. Man's just asleep. He's just asleep. She just didn't see him get in last night and now he's asleep. He just got pissed last night and now he's asleep. I don't know why I'm having to stress about it. That hotel was just worrying me. But why is she trying to get hold of him this early anyway? Check out's not until 12, so I don't know. Well, we'll go and find out. I'm sure he'll just be, well, he'll open the door and he'll go, yo. <laughs> this isn't how I wanted to start my morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, you say you didn't see him last night? I did not see him waiting. Did you not see him come in last night? Were you working last night? Hmm? Were you working last night? Last night, here. Yeah. You were here and you didn't see him come in? But I'm not seeing him. Okay. Have you banged on the door? No, I'm not. Because at 11 a.m. Okay, I'll go and knock on the door for you. Okay, thank you. But it's seven flights of stairs and there's no elevator. It'll probably just be halfway up the stairs. <laughs> It'll probably be on the third floor like this. <laughs> oh, stop laughing. It's not funny. It'll be funny once we find him. <sighs> Bloody hell. He can buy me breakfast for this. This is bullshit. Housekeeping. Yo, it's me. He's alive. Thank God. Open the door, mother. He's just hung over. What a surprise. I thought it was actually <laughs> Bro, the reception have been texting me this morning looking for you. I thought you died. I thought you didn't make it back. Oh, he's okay, everybody. Reggie's mother, don't have to stress. He's here, he's alive. Still wearing the same shorts, still with no shirt on. Classic Reg. And obviously, because I left you last night, I thought he's dead. Oh, that's, that's pretty low. Because I haven't paid her last night. Obviously. Oh, it's because you didn't pay her. That's really it. Great. Right. Like, you got me all stressed, bro. Oh. <laughs> I said I was keeping him. Man's like, no. <laughs> oh, look at how hungover he is. This is so hilarious. This is how you know he's drunk and you know it's all real, right? He's bought a microwave spag bowl and he's not even eating it. Did they heat that up? Yeah, they microwave. They heated it up, he didn't even eat it. Ah, oh, Reggie and his spag bowl. <laughs> Are we gonna have time to go to this fucking thing? The, the tunnels and the guns is an hour and 45 minute drive away, which is miles. It's like 50 miles away. We've only got these little crappy mopeds. So now we've found Reg, we've got a new problem, okay? The tunnels are so far away, unless we wake up early in the morning and get there. And I'm just thinking, a tunnel? Do we want to go? It's a tunnel. Do you know what I mean? If I wanted to get deep into a deep, dark cave, I'd give your mum a ring. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I want to do the shooting, the big do 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 Gatling guns, but two hour drive there, two hour drive back. I don't know, don't think it's worth it. So what we're currently decided 
is what to do. Should we just get out of Hoi An City or whatever? Because there doesn't seem to be any tourist attractions here or anything. It's just, apart from driving crazy, which I've done now, and I feel like I've done it. Don't risk it anymore, do you know what I mean? I'm an idiot, so I'll crash and I'll die. So, we're currently looking at more flights. F sake, more flights. All we do is fly everywhere. <laughs> I mean, this is a travel channel, but <laughs> you're sort of supposed to stop at the places after you've flown there. <laughs> so we're just looking at whether we should get um, a train. A train to Da Nang. How long do you think it takes? Eight hours. <laughs> 19 hours. <laughs> We're not doing that. We thought, I thought, you know what, let's do the traveller thing and instead of flying everywhere, carbon footprint, I don't care about that. But, um, we'll get the train. Oh, 17 hours. 17. Front seat. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> well, I've now come back to get him, it's 12 o'clock. She's having to kick him out. Hello. You're late. Come in. Back in his stuff. Give him a fine. One thousand, one million dong fine. <laughs> oh, he's not even nearly ready. My customer are really outside. Young come on, come on, come on, come on. You're a real piece of shit. First you ruined my morning, now you're ruining the new customer's morning. <laughs> Who checks in at 12 o'clock anyway? It's supposed to be 2 o'clock check-in. But I'm forever running around and trying to do stuff that I think's good vlog content, right? And I always end up just doing shit. So what I'm going to do is go and do something that I actually enjoy. And we're going to go to the driving range, brother. What's up, brother? I can't stop doing that. Um, <laughs> we're going to go to the driving range. I want to go play a full round of golf, but... Uh, Reg doesn't really know how to play and it'll be quite gruelling doing nine holes in this heat with somebody that's not uh, Gonna be able to hit the ball more than 20 yards. So I'm not that good I'm not that good, but I can play. Do you know what I mean? So we're gonna go have a little flipping whack about Do you know what I mean? And we'll see how good Reg really is So I'm just gonna drive there now on the trusty whiz app And you're just gonna have to believe me that the roads are crazy because I don't have my chest strap on me And I can't be bothered to go and get it to be honest with you <sighs> Day 30 is taking a toll on me, bro. Vlogging every day Sometimes I don't want to vlog. Do you know what I mean? I don't. Well, I enjoy it so it's so hard because I really, really do enjoy it and I love it. And at the same time, it's just like, oh, I just want a day off. Just one day. Just one day. Let me have one day. And it's not you guys. I'm just, it makes no difference. It's me, myself. I've told myself I'm going to do at least 50 days in a row. But we'll see. I might have a day off in like 10 days. I'm not sure. We'll see. See what happens. Anyway, let's get straight into this bitch. Oh, he's got no, he's been told off for having no shirt. Obviously you can't come to a golf club with no shirt on. I'm going to get one from there. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, he's a bloody piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. Do I make you in there, bro? Yeah, I'll go in there. Thank you, sorry about that. Obviously, I didn't think about that. Because um, I'm wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> I'm a degenerate, right? Reg isn't as much as a degenerate. But he's got his tendencies. <laughs> Wait till you see this range, mate. This range looks beautiful, Dad. So obviously the no shirt rule I can understand. <laughs> but I'm not quite sure why there's a no trumpet rule. <laughs> there must be a reason behind that side. Someone must keep, there's another one over there as well. Someone must keep turning up with trumpets. <laughs> Just trolling everybody on the golf course. Oh. Hello. Uh, I'm just waiting to go on the driving range, but I need to rent some clubs as well, please. Here we go, have a look at this. Ooh, beautiful settings, mate. Beautiful. It was quite expensive, to be fair, for Vietnam. Well, the balls were, the balls were 200,000, which is about four quid. But then it was another 200,000 per club. And obviously, I didn't want just a driver, so I've got a seven iron and a hybrid as well. If you don't know about golf, don't worry about it. I'm gonna try and hit some balls as far as I can. Let's see what we can get up to. Dad, I haven't hit a ball in a very long time, so I'm not sure if this is actually even gonna go anywhere, but we'll give it a good go. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but the, uh, <laughs> the tee, this little rubber thing. I just put on the floor, I managed to hit that and that's now on the range and the ball is still there. So that was a fantastic start. Hopefully you didn't see that. <laughs> I've been playing for at least 10 minutes and I can confirm it's far too hot to play golf, even in a driving range with a bottle of water next to a fan. I'm still too hot, I'm absolutely dying now. Reggie's still not come back, he's gone missing again. <laughs> All right, be Reggie, he's definitely gonna get hit by a car. Oh. Sure. Also, Reggie's not here because <laughs> he refuses to buy a t-shirt. <laughs> so he says, I'll just meet you after. 
which means I c it's really hard to film because the sun's this way, so the camera just, it doesn't look great. I'll do a hit a couple shots, show you how good I actually am. Okay, and if anyone wants to challenge me to a golf game, hit me up. When I'm back in the UK, we'll get it pattern. Look at that. Dude, that's probably the best shot I've hit the entire time I've been here. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that again. Oh, that didn't go very far, did it? <laughs> oh, what a rocket ship, mate. Absolute rocket ship. You can't see it because it's so far away. <laughs> right, that'll do you. Cut to me meeting Reg. Oh, <laughs> bro, look at this. This is all sweat. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah, I know. I can see that's true. Yeah, I'm going to for a t-shirt. Hello, oh, can I get a sugar cane drink, please? Yes, please. Oh, the end of it, mate, oh, no lime, just no sugar lime. cane. Oh, this is my favorite drink it's ever, so bro. Good. Okay, so they're selling this, like, sugar cane water. This is obviously sugar cane, I think. Looks like wood, to be honest. And then he just pulls it up, and there you go, there's the sugar cane water. I've had this before in Cuba. I had it before on this vlog, uh, and it was horrible. Um, so I'm hoping this one's going to be much nicer. How much is that, brother? So cheap. How much? Cost 15,000. Okay, cool. A quick taste test. That is it. That's the one. That's what it should taste like. I don't know what they gave us the other day. That's banging. I'm going to be back in about two seconds for another one. Right, flights are booked. We are officially going to Da Nang. So we're going to go to the beach. And we've said we're going to stay for at least three nights because I'm sick of traveling. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. It was nice to come see Ho Chi Minh City, but like I say, I feel like this isn't really much of like a traveling destination. It's more of a, if you want to live in Vietnam, come here. But now, so that the flight, sorry, the flight costs 59 pounds, 99 pence. And we're now looking for hotels. And if you look at this, this is like a nice hotel, four star. What's how much it cost? 13, 13 pounds a night, mate. What the hell is going on? So I'm going to look for the best hotel there and let's see what that costs. After what seems like an hour, probably at least 40 minutes, we've been looking at every single hotel in Da Nang and we've found one that's a nice hotel, fast speed internet, and a spa, rooftop pool, infinity pool, free bike rental, free breakfast buffet, all for a grand total of 15 pounds a night. It's crazy. Back on the, back on the mental roads again. I don't understand why they don't just get in the lanes and just have bike lanes and stuff rather than just everybody just fighting for a spot. But I'm an idiot driver, facts, okay? I'll, I'll admit that, hands up. <laughs> but this is just insane. There's nobody's... Oh, just beep, just beep each other, thinking that somebody's gonna go, oh, he's beeping at me, I'll, I'll just stop then. <laughs> Quick, crash for the vlog. <laughs> How can people live like this? Imagine this being your morning commute to work. I'd be raging every day. Right, remember the guy from yesterday, the old man? He's over here, look. Hello, brother. I'm back. I'm back. Come for a beer. Yeah, I'll get some beers for you. <laughs> Drinking on the job. <laughs> There's only one beer I've liked in Vietnam, and that's oh here it is, bygone special. We'll get him two. We'll give him two. He probably has fuck all, doesn't he? So one thing I've noticed, yeah, I've only just realised this after being here for like three days. They don't have any coins. There's no coins. It's all mo it's all notes, which at the start was annoying because there's so many like you end up with so many notes, right? And they've, they've all got one of them's five hundred thousand, then one of them's one one thousand. So you need 500 of those. It's, so it's, the, the money system is a bit weird, but it's nice to have no coins. I fucking hate coins. I don't know what it is. I think I'm just autistic, but I really don't like coins. Here he is. Thank you. No worries, brother. Cheers, my man. What's your name? Um, my name? Home. Yeah. Home. 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 Okay, my name is Max. Ma Maximus. Maximus Marilius. Yes. <laughs> no, Mashtag. Mash Mashtag. Mashtag. Mashtag, yes. Mashtag. Yeah, man. Cheers, brother. Lovely to meet you. Are you security? We're 59. Are you security? Are you gonna, can you let me steal some stuff? <laughs> I'm only joking, brother. Do you want a cigarette? Do you want a cigarette? Let me get you a cigarette, mate. Oh, I got your knees as well. Thank you. My favourite, my favourite. For you. <laughs> 
Bless him. I'm not even sure he's a real security guard. <laughs> Just sits there. I don't think he's actually going to chase anyone. Uh, I'm not going to smoke YouTube. I don't actually smoke. It's all a joke. I'm actually not a degenerate. I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I definitely don't do drugs. Okay, my man. You know, in fact, you can have this one as well. Okay, get pissed on the job. Thank you, thank you. No problem, no problem. Can I try your hat? Can I try your hat on? Can I try on your hat? Nah, I don't, want to, so I don't want to take off his head, it might be disrespectful, yeah. it? Well, we'll just awkwardly stand and have a beer with him then, because he can't speak any English. Alright, well, f*** it. I, I, can't, I can't squeeze much more content out of him, because he doesn't actually speak any English, so... <laughs> we are going to have to get our bags soon and head on towards the airport, so unfortunately... Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Yeah. 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 Happy birthday! When? when? In... Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy <laughs> birthday! <laughs> Right, I'm going to have to end the video there. I'm so sorry. I don't know how long this video is, but make sure you hit the subscribe button anyway, because tomorrow, or well, tonight, we're going to be going to Da Nang. So we're going to start the vlog in Da Nang tomorrow. Shout out to you, Mum. Shout out to you, Dad. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. <coughs> Safe.